Hey guys, this is Kevin at ChristianPhotoshops.com and today we're going to be doing a brand new tutorial and it's going to be on how to take a light bulb um, that isn't lit and we're actually going to add light to it. Um, so this picture right here is just a normal picture of a light bulb. It's actually, you can download this picture directly off our website. Just go to ChristianPhotoshops.com and, and then click on the free stock images button at the bottom. And we've got hundreds of images you can download for free, and uh, this is one of them. So feel free to download this one and uh, open it up in Photoshop, and we can get started. So um, the first thing I did, um, I took a picture of a light bulb on, on a table or something like that, and then I went ahead and just cut it out. And uh, this is not a tutorial on how to cut it out, but I went ahead and, and cut the, the light bulb out and put it on a blank white background. And so that's what we're working with here. Um, so another... Um, picture that's available on the website to download is um, this picture right here and this is just of a, a fireplace this is just um, some some fire um, flames coming off of um, some some logs of wood in a fireplace and um, so I grabbed this picture and what we're going to do is we're going to use this to light the light bulb so what you want to do is you want to grab the fire image and then just drag it over to your light bulb image just like that and then you're going to change the blend mode over here from normal. We're going to change that down to screen. And then we're going to change the size of it. And we're going to rotate it. And we're going to make that, that log that we saw in the picture. And it's going to more or less line up with the, the filament in the light bulb. So kind of line it up about like that. There we go. So we got a nice fire coming off of that, that metal um, filament from the light bulb. And then once you get it the way you like it, just go ahead and hit that check mark. And now we're going to create a layer mask and clean it up just a little bit. So on your, we'll call this the fire layer. Um, just going on your fire layer, go ahead and create a layer mask. And then what we're going to do is just take a regular um, black brush and we're just going to paint the, the, the parts that we don't need. So down here in the bottom, these, uh, these little elements of the fire are not really that important, so we'll just go ahead and erase those. And then right up here, there's a, a really hard edge on the fire, so we're going to kind of clean that up just a little bit. Right in there. Okay. And then right here on the actual filament, I'm just going to touch that up just a little bit. So it's actually coming directly off of the, the metal parts and not going down below it. Okay, that looks good right there. Once um, you've cleaned it up, what I want you to do is um, I want you to apply that um, layer mask. So just right click right here and do apply layer mask. And now we're gonna touch up the fire just real quick um, with the smudge tool. So go over here to the left, click the smudge tool, and then you're just gonna kind of drag some little sharp points to the fire. So you can do a little bit, you can do a lot of bit, whatever you, you feel comfortable doing. Um, but I'm just gonna kinda clean up those edges where we, we masked out the hard edges. I'm just gonna kinda soften those up real quick. Okay, and you can spend more time on it if you want, um, but we're not, we're not gonna spend too much time for this tutorial. Um, but you get the idea just to soften those hard edges and then just to, to make some real nice little spikes coming off of the fire. Okay, that looks good. Let's back up a little bit. So we got some light or some fire coming off of the filament, but it doesn't look too realistic right now. So what I want to do is go below the fire image and then we'll call this one, um, we'll just call it glow, that's fine. And uh, we'll get a large white brush soft brush, and the color is going to be more or less one of these colors in the fire. Uh, maybe more one of these orange, these light orange colors. It's about like, about like that. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of paint a, a nice glow that would be coming off of the fire, and um, I'm just going to paint just a large circle, more or less, right there underneath, this is underneath the fire layer, just like that. And then I'm gonna change that blend mode to screen and then bring it down just a little bit. Okay, that looks pretty good right there. 
All right, next thing I'm gonna do is create a new layer on top of everything. And we're gonna call this, um, we'll call it Hot Glow, how's that? Hot Glow, and then I wanna make a new layer, I'm um, sorry, a new group. So click your group button, put those in the group, change the group blending mode to the color dodge, and then go down to your Hot Glow layer, and we're gonna get a nice um, deep red color here. So somewhere in this area, and with a very low flow, we're going to paint very carefully on these, this metal filament here. So just paint right there on the, the filament itself. And what that's going to do is it's going to make it look like it's red hot and it's, it's glowing um, the nice red color because it's so hot and um, that looks good right there. Then make a new layer right on top of that one and change this to screen. And you can use that same color, but we're gonna go a little bit bigger. And I'm gonna do the same thing, just paint over the filament, just a little bit bigger of a brush here. Just like that. And that'll bring out those glows pretty good. All right, let's see how that looks. All right. Okay. And one thing I want to, it's not quite red enough, so what I'm going to do is go right here above the fire layer, and um, I'm going to just paint, let's see how this looks, I'm just going to paint red right above the fire layer on that filament. Let's see if we can make it even more of a deep red color. Yeah, that, that looks a little bit better. Okay. All right, let's back it up. And let's try that screen. No, let's try overlay. Overlay's not bad. Okay, so there we go. We got some nice uh, fire coming off of the, the embers and it's glowing. And uh, let's do a couple more things here. Let's go above everything. Now I'm gonna do a bluish color. I don't know what color I want yet, but probably something like this, just a a nice solid blue color. Paint right over the fire. Okay, just like that. Change your color mode to, um, your blend mode to color dodge, and then bring it down. Okay, maybe 20, 30%, whatever you think looks good. And then make another layer on top of that, and let's do overlay for the blend mode, and then we're gonna do an orange color and just very carefully paint right over the fire. Like that. And I think that looks pretty good. Let's do one more color dodge layer. Make that really bright. Okay. Maybe not quite that bright, right there. Okay, I think we'll call that done right there. So just a, a quick couple steps. We added some flames to the fire, and uh, which I know that's not what a light bulb would really look like, but it's kind of cool having the flames in there. And then we added some glows and some lights. And let's just go and do a quick before and after. So I'm going to um, select all of those layers we just did, put them in a big group. We can call it edits. And then here's the before and after. So this is just a regular light bulb and then we added all these lights here. So um, that's pretty much it. Took about nine minutes to do. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something from it. Go try it on your own and uh, it just have a good time with it. And if you do create some, some pretty cool light bulb pictures, I'd love to see them. So post them to our Facebook page um, or email them to me. I just, I'd love to see what you can do. But I, I appreciate you taking the time to watch this tutorial and check back soon. We got more coming up. Thanks guys.